time we're going to shoot the standard oak stock with um, my old Buffalo River bipods. We're going to do a three shot group, see how it goes. And then after that, we're going to be shooting the Warrior chassis with the UTG bipods. Alright, so I've warmed up the barrel, 100 meter shot, gripping of three. Okay, so here we have our first shot grouping, uh, a little bit to the right, not bad, still under an inch easy, um, we'll see what the rest of the day, the day holds, got our business card here, see if we can get this one split today within five shots, so let's have a look and see. If I don't get it right with the standard oak stock, I know I'll make it with the Warrior chassis. No problems. All right, so now we're going to make sure the weapon is safe. We're going to take the barreled action out of the stock. We're gonna put it in the Warrior chassis, make sure it's all down tight, and then we'll shoot another group and see how it goes. Hopefully, we'll split the playing card at 100 as well. Alright, I want to start off and say thanks Warren from Warrior um, who sponsored us this stock for the review. Really have so much good things to say. I love the black finish. Looks pretty sexy with the Howard's uh, blued action. So, let's mount this and see how it goes. So with your aluminium chassis, there's no need for any bedding, uh, not like your wood or oak or your um, synthetic stocks, makes life a lot easier. You know that your action already has 100% contact, always make sure that you talk it to the right settings. So UTG bipod, really nice and stable platform. As you can see now, compared to the standard stock they come out with, already free floated. Um, there is absolutely no wiggle in the chassis itself. Solid one piece um, machined aluminium with a nice vertical foregrip. So we should be getting some tight grooves out of this. Alright, so it's set up now. Length of pull is pretty much as I want it comb height is the way I like it you can have a look on YouTube how important that is I'm not gonna go into that detail uh, let's see what groupings we get out of this rifle great added feature of these chassis they come with a five shot magazine ideal for when you're doing PRA shooting only loading three let's go have a shoot got the basic setup right, uh, bipods the way I like it, the right height, got the rear bag ready, already first impressions it is much more stable, just looking through my scope there's almost no movement when I put weight forward on the bipods, 
I'm gonna quickly just load the magazine, load the bolt, and be ready to rock. Right, magazine's loaded. One great thing as well, if you have a look, the bipods compared to the home stock is much further forward, so your recoil impulse does not tend to flip your muzzle as much. Have a look, I know it's pretty subtle, but it makes quite a difference in your follow-up shot, especially when you're already on scope and on further distances. Looking through this scope, already out at 100 meters, I can see that there's a big difference in stability. The length of the bipod is away from your um, from your stock, I mean from your butt pad, makes a huge difference. Let's see what the grouping does. A poor business card challenge with a warrior suppressor. Five rounds, business card, side on, 100 meters. Let's see if this, let's see if I can do this. Got it. <laughs> Second shot. Warrior, you beauty. Thank you, Warren. Let's go see if we got it on camera. Flipping well, I hope so. Um, thank you, firstly, also to Matoska that uh, Vector Optics Scope super clear. I used the uh, top magnification 30 uh, power. I could actually see the card split. Um, I hope I just didn't hit the pen. But with that warrior chest being so stiff and the bipod being so far forward, I could actually see the impact. I'm pretty happy. It's uh, so far as didn't see me. And we're back from the range. We got the playing card split at 100 meters. We were so excited about it, we completely forgot to take pictures of the shot grouping in the Warrior chassis. But looking back, the grouping was at least a third smaller than the grouping out of the Hoag stock. So I would also like to say thank you to Warren from Warrior. They provided us with the chassis to test. And I would like to say thank you to Matoska Tactical for supplying us with the Vector Optics Taurus 5 to 30 by 56 the first focal plane scope, it worked like a charm and without the clarity of that scope we wouldn't have been able to split the card the way we did. If you have any more epic shots or products that you'd like us to review and try leave it in the comments section, also like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube and we'll see you out on the range. Cheers!